Hello everyone, I'm your host Sahil Mahajan and welcome back to the another video of Hacking Begins. Before starting this video, thank you so much guys for all your love and support because I know that I'm posting videos on Hacking Begins channel after a very long time and you guys are still supporting. So I think like the Hacking Begins army is definitely rocking. They are still supporting me, still loving me. And this is definitely a motivation for me to help this community and share the knowledge with you all guys. So thank you so much guys. And today I came up with a, another video and I think this is the most requested video and everyone is like asking the same query. So I thought why not to make it. So today we'll talk about the bug bounties. Yes guys. So today's topic is very interesting how to get started in bug bounty because this is the most common questions nowadays everyone is asking on the twitter on instagram on facebook do i really have to start bug bounty technically yes you have to start and there are like many reasons for this because nowadays everyone is free and they have like more learning opportunities the practice definitely they can like spend more time on this and to be really frank this particular field is nowadays growing guys growing and india is on top one if you are looking for like uh different platforms like bug crowd hacker one you will see that india hackers indian hackers are basically on the top in finding all the bug bounties so india is like on number one that makes us proud and definitely guys we also have to work like this to you know to grow in the community learn practice and share our knowledge with everyone J before starting this video just a disclaimer that i'm definitely not a pro in this particular field uh not an expert and this is definitely not an expert advice as well but what i'm actually sharing with you is like based upon my experience because i'm also managing a hacker one account for my company so i know like how these things basically work and how much efforts basically hackers put to get recognizations for this even like money as well but let's get started so before starting let's understand what is a bug bounty program so bug bounty program is a deal offer by many website organization software developer and they really need a platform to share all the information that okay we have we can offer you money we can offer you anything that we can compensate you but you have to find the bug even before release or if our applications are already running just find the bug so at least the malicious actor cannot take advantage of this and for this they are might be giving them a reputation points they are giving them money they are giving them swags there are like many things comes into the picture if you want you can read uh, the complete article on the wikipedia but in the nutshell if you find a bug as a white hacker for them they will pay you and definitely it depends upon the cvss score of the vulnerability that you are reporting so this is actually the main idea behind this one more thing to point out here guys just respect this community because this is all depends upon your common interest if you are willing to do hard work basically in this particular field then definitely opt for it but if you are thinking okay you will just find the bugs and you know uh, <laughs> report a few things and then you will get the money and you you know you can live your life happily after that well definitely guys then this is definitely not a proper field for you then you might have to you know join a different field that suits your requirement because this particular field definitely required lots of hard work because i i cannot actually you know tell you in the video that okay just start and you will get the 200 dollars 10000 dollars because it depends upon your hard work your knowledge how much you have and based upon that only you can start bug bounties Otherwise, you might end up with either information or duplicate. So this is this is what I would like to say. So the main technical questions now, if I talk about is how to get started, what should be the requirement for this? 
and how I can learn these bug bounties. You have to understand what exactly you're doing is you are doing a hacking just in a legal manner, right? So you have to basically understand Linux. I would say, yes, you have to learn. You have to go for the web application technologies, networking basics, HTTP. If you learn that would make it additional and there are some programming languages as well that we will talk later in this video or might be in the next upcoming videos. But yes, you can definitely start with Python, PHP, JavaScript and HTML, which definitely, you know, makes a add on for this about choosing the path as like i have like already tell told you but let's talk about hacker one right so hacker one and buck crowd so these are basically two top one i would say like this one this community and this community is like really working very hard for everyone and they share their pocs whatever the hackers are reporting they also share it so very first thing that you have to do here is just make a free account either on hacker one and on the buck crowd and see that what exactly the brands that they have already registered and what exactly the options that they have given for testing because every company that registered they definitely specify something that what exactly in scope and what exactly is out of scope so let's take an example on this i have a website called google.com let's take simple example okay but if i talk about the subdomains there might be subdomains like uh, gmail uh, google drive google docs right so what exactly Google is saying, okay, you have to only find the vulnerabilities on the google.com, but if you find any vulnerability on other subdomains that are out of scope. So even though if you report any vulnerability on those domains, you are not eligible for any bounty. So you have to also be very careful. That part definitely I will also cover uh, in the next upcoming videos, but, but, but today in this video, I just want to make it like more informative What how exactly you can get started? So very important thing also in the bug bounty is there are two paths specifically mostly people follow and This is what exactly in the trend is one is either you can opt for web application security testing another one is mobile application security testing so if I talk about these two, these are like the most common, but apart from this, it depends upon the product because some companies might, might also have their EXE Windows files that they want to test. Some have Linux, some have Mac. So definitely either you can opt for those technologies, softwares, how you can find malicious codes and how you can find the bugs. But most commonly you can definitely focus based upon my information. Uh, I would say first initial phase just start with the bug application uh, sorry web application security testing and you can definitely follow the uh, let's see okay so this particular OWASP definitely the open web application security project and there are basically top 10 uh, vulnerabilities for the, like in the 2020 you can definitely open up and you have to go through all these security vulnerabilities because if you are aware of these vulnerabilities then definitely it would be very easy for you to penetrate and find bugs on any application so this is like a bible for you i would say and you can definitely consider it handy uh, when you are doing the pen testing these things are also applicable on the mobile pen testing also so if you are doing the mobile so if you just simply search for the OWASP top 10 for the mobile and you can see here in proper platform usage, data storage, communication. What I would say here is if you are familiar with the web, then definitely you can switch between. But as a beginning, if you are doing it, then just stick with these, uh, this part only right now. And after once you gain the experience time to time, and then you can switch between these two technologies or might be, you know, you can go far than this. Knowledge, if I talk about, you can definitely gain it from the books. I can definitely recommend a couple of books with you that might give you 
a very good information to get it started so very first book is like web application hacker handbook and let's take an example if i simply say file type dot pdf uh, you can download it from free as well so you know like hackers don't pay so you also don't have to pay anything so same for the mastering modern web penetration testing this is like also very good if you do not find the link i will give a link so you can also download free of cost because many of these books i have like given to my top fans of hacking big cans and i have like shared the link to their personal email ids so this is actually the second book so the third book i would recommend here is the hacker playbook so there are three editions one two three and all are like free available nowadays so play book let's see yeah this one so one two three you can definitely refer these three books as a you know to enhance your knowledge because this will give you these three books will give you the exact information how you can start and how you can penetrate the web application so now the main part here is how you can practice all these things so for the practice there are definitely the vulnerable applications are available one of my best one is the juice shop github yep so this thing you can either deploy on your machine in the upcoming videos i'll definitely show you but you, you can see here right this will give you the proper information about the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities so if you work on it practice something on this this will definitely enhance your knowledge apart from this you can definitely go for uh, let's see okay so either you can go for hacker 101 this is actually from the hacker one community also and you can either do two couple of things either you can learn the lessons and either you can go for the capture the flag but please make sure to uh, first of all uh, register yourself to the hacker one right and then you can definitely follow so this is like also very good uh, which i also like recommend you apart from this if you ask me then i would also recommend port swigger academy and this is also like free online uh, training this is free but it is not up to date but as a basic course of action you can definitely follow it and it is really good and give you like more information so guys apart from this if i have to say something that i would definitely say respect this community and do not ask questions like how i can hack this how to hack facebook how to because this community will definitely not entertain these queries these are very professional people who are working as a uh, in, in these domains and if you are like asking these queries you might get end up like they might block you right so let's take an example if you are taking something from this community I, I would say this is also your responsibility also to give it back to them if you are learning something new either you can you know share with everyone just make a tweet because there are like two hashtags are very common like one is like bug bounty and another one is bug bounty tips so you can definitely follow these hashtags on twitter and you will definitely get more response from the hacker community apart from this hacker one and bug crowd also publish their reports which are already reported by the hackers so definitely you can review them uh let me actually show you hacker one reports so let's see so as you can see here if you open up so you can see here there are like many public reports are like already available you can definitely search for all the information if you are definitely looking for something unique or any information inf informative then you can definitely go for the reports section and they might give you like more details about the vulnerability so i'll definitely add all the links as, as you can see here this is the activity option and you can definitely open up these links and see that how the hackers find out and what exactly the bug bounty they have got for these particular issues like this one is critical so this guy got what 
22,500 dollar which is like not a bad deal i would say but you can see here this is how this community work and this is how you can learn earn and gain respect as well so so guys i hope that this video will give you some heads up on how to get started with the bug bounty in our next video we will talk more in depth about this we'll talk about the tools how to get started with all these things so subscribe to hacking begins apart from this if you guys don't know i also do have a second channel which is simply sahil if you are really interested to know more about me you can definitely subscribe to simply sahil as well and we'll see you in the next episode thank you stay safe